We need our judges to rule on the law, the facts, and the evidence of each and every specific case. I thank you all for coming together today to stand up for judicial independence, to stand against judicial intimidation, and to stand with Judge Aaron Persky, who has faced this dangerous recall threat with integrity and with courage. I was raped when I was 17 years old. I was a virgin. There was alcohol involved in that situation. I have been horrified, angered, and saddened by many of the comments I've heard from Persky supporters. Every time they victim blame, they are giving a silent nod of assent to my rapist and reinforcing the destructive belief that I was in any way to blame. For Jim McManus to say that Emily Doe was not attacked because Turner didn't jump out from behind the dumpster is appalling. Someday you may be on the right side of the law and the wrong side of public opinion. And when you step into a courtroom before a judge, you will expect, you will request, you will demand a judge who will follow the rule of law, who will tune out public opinion because they must, they must to preserve our system of justice. What woman would feel comfortable or safe having her sexual assault case adjudicated by Judge Persky after these kinds of statements have come from his campaign and he has not disavowed them or dissociated himself? Judge Aaron Persky has long enjoyed a reputation in this legal community for being fair, intelligent, and unbiased. Judge Persky imposed a lawful sentence in the Brock Turner case. And not only was it lawful, it was the probation department of this county's recommendation. I really hope that we can get the word out that Judge Persky had the option to really sentence Brock Turner accordingly and he failed the women, he failed the constituents of Santa Clara County by allowing a, a convicted rapist to serve 90 days in county jail. No justice was served that day. As you all know, I was very disappointed and very angry, frankly, as were many, with the sentence that was given in the Brock Turner case. Our office vigorously prosecuted that case and we sought a prison term. However, all of the righteous indignation and passion that we felt from that case, we channeled in a positive direction towards changing the law. Because the fact is, the law allowed for the judge to do what he did in that particular case. The probation department recommended that. That was what the law was. Aaron Persky has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Aaron Persky has got to go. This recall does not make it any easier for victims to come forward. What this recall does do is it tells our judges that they should violate the code of judicial ethics. I speak for myself. I've run a campaign consistent with the Code of Judicial Ethics, which focuses not on cases, but on judicial independence and what this means to our system. 